Hey everybody, this is Eric Clark's Travel Videos and I'm in Viterbo and I'm going to walk through Old Town and I'll film this for you and you guys can see what you think. I mean, I did the church already and I didn't go into the Papal's place or the museum just because it gets crazy expensive, but uh, let's go see the rest of it. Um, this is Old Town. And, and the square is really beautiful. But I think they, you know, they have to make money to keep it open and keep it functioning, so. But we're gonna, we're just gonna move on. Is it okay if we don't uh, see all this stuff? Okay, so there's a guy playing here, so I'm gonna cover up my mics, I think, and see if I can, uh, unless I, do I know his song? I don't wanna know his song. <laughs> okay, actually I'll just stop, bye everybody. Okay, so I passed him, and so this is the, old town here and I remember this little square because I stopped here and had a, a beer a mini eight years ago I guess um, it's cute so there's really not a lot in Viterbo um, I think if you had the choice of going to Bracciano or Viterbo one or the other you would take Bracciano twice over if you had a choice of a CC in Viterbo you'd take a CC again um, but, uh, but it's kind of nice. There's lots of little side streets and old towns and such. And again, there's tourists that come here. The locals have all left because of the, um, holidays. What is this? Oh, this is the name of the Plaza, Piazza the square here. The layout of Piazza del Morte is typically medieval in format, blah, blah, blah. Can you see all that? Anyway, we'll keep going. And I have done that, uh, that Papples thing, and I do have pictures, and I think I did do a video of it before. Um, but uh, if I remember right, it wasn't uh, all that and then some, so... We'll just let her ride. Cute little streets. Very cute little streets. Okay, let me run down this way and then I'll come back. Bye, right back. Bye. Okay, we can go that way, but it says to go this way. I looked at a sign and it says there's a, a fountain over here and then we can go to the right and that'll lead to a, a church or some kind of older building, I think. Wow, I can't believe that little cars come down these roads. Don't hit that old man. Oh boy, okay. So if I understood the map right, to the left here, there should be a fountain. You know, it's funny, they have a walking tour. They need to give you that and show you how to get around all the stuff. Yes, okay. So here's the fountain. I wonder... Huh. Yeah, it's really a cute little square. And it's got a cute little church in it. And the fountain's cute. And it really is just a cute, quiet little... I, bet, I wonder how many of these people are locals, you know? Because I, mean, I see a baby stroller in that back one over there. Um, you know, I wonder if they... Um, if the locals just come to these little spots and just kind of hang out and hide out and such. That's the view from the other side. That's pretty amazing, huh? Well, very cool. All right, I won't stop for a water picture. Beautiful though. 
And then in that little cute, cute little balcony overlooking the square. Enough for two chairs and a and a cigar. And here's more information. So they're loaded with information. That's a plus, huh? Uh, they're made of a quarter of San Bernardino Pellegrino with the Chemi Alleys and ancient street lights, blah, 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 blah. Here, can you read all that? The film director, blah, 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 Vinci Garden, a movie that celebrates the actions of the fascist square. Okay, well, so be it. So this was a movie site at one time. So we'll go. It said, I think this way leads to another square. So we can get some gelato. <laughs> you know, I'm really sorry. You know, I know that, uh, that going into these palaces and stuff, I mean, I could take you guys with me. The hard part is, oh, that's really pretty too. It's just too expensive, you know. When you when you got a fixed little budget, you got to make appropriate choices. So, for me, what I did here, I brought a ham sandwich, and I just ate it on a church step, and I found a beer for a dollar forty. So, it just cuts down the cost. I'd rather see more than eat better food <laughs> or gelato. That's what I need is more gelato in my life. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Which way is better? This way or this way? Pretty. This way is better. Okay, okay. It's smaller. Okay, grazie, grazie. Thank you. Wow. You know, look at the size of the buildings. I mean, those shutters look like they've been there for 150 years. Um, and I wonder, it makes you wonder if they, uh, these, you know, when they do the, you know, buy a home in Rome for $100 or a dollar or whatever it is, is this, uh, <laughs> is this what they're talking about? You could buy a home here for a hundred bucks. I would buy one for a hundred bucks. I, you know, if I could, the problem is I have to be able to stay here. Oh, look at that little thing. I know there's construction here. But it's certainly a cute little street. Huh, okay. Keep going, Eric. He was pointing at something. <sighs> A lot of these shops are closed. It must be holiday. Oh, and there's our clock tower again. <clears throat> Go Dallas Cowboys. Had an NFL shirt on. <clears throat> okay, so I'm back to where I came through earlier. But you know what? Let's do a. I see a lot of little pock marks on the ground here. See these little black holes? Let's see if we can work some magic because that's really a beautiful little square. Um, let's see, and I have a bottle of water. So you see that spot right there? It looks pretty good. Let's see if I can get you guys a picture. If I can get this water out of my bag here. Oh, I'm sorry for the camera bounce. So here I am. It's a dry spot. And I'm just dumping water. And I'm turning the camera upside down. And there you go. So I can't get zoomed out enough on this camera. But what I can do is on this camera with this picture. Let me see what I can do here. 
I'm going to turn you guys off. So I can imagine at one point in time that this whole square was lined with columns and those lions up there. And that's the one they saved. And you should see the picture I got. I got an amazing picture of this square and that clock tower. And I will certainly throw it in for you guys. But now I need more water so I can take more pictures. Now I came from that way, so I'm going to go up this way just for kicks and giggles. Didn't I come down? Did I come down this one? You know what? I think I'm going to go back the other way. So I've already filmed this, so I'm going to I'll stop so I don't drag you through the same nonsense. So, okay, moving on. Bye bye. Okay, I made it back to this square and I'm going to pan really slowly and easily and gently. And I'm going to go down this one just because I like the arch there and the door that goes to nothing. Can you imagine that being a door? Because you can see the door. I don't know if you can look really closely at that. There's a door behind that. <laughs> you. You certainly don't want to be taking that first step, but it's a beautiful little arch. Um, and a beautiful little street. You know, maybe they don't. These little towns, like Viterbo is probably a good example. It doesn't have a lot of monuments or history or you know thousands and thousands of year old places but you know what it has character lots and lots of character and families having dinner and relaxing and enjoying and little kids and oh and churches Oh, I remember this one too. Oh, and this one I think has that amazing roof, right? Let's go look. This is Chisa de Giovanni Battista. Oh my God. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. Wow. Oh, you can go behind the... Wow. That's pretty amazing. That's amazing. I'm getting good at that zoom in and zoom out stuff now, huh? Wow, that's pretty amazing, church. Wow. 
Wow. Let me turn around here and I'll see. Very cool. Wow, beautiful. All right. Well, huh. I don't know what that sign says. Cute little streets, huh? <laughs> okay. Roma is this way. Siena. Hi, Siena. I think that's kind of one of my favorite churches in it, too. The one with the gold floors that they never uncover and that you let, never let you get close to. feels so good. Ah. <laughs> uh, there's a car coming up on me here, so I'm going to duck down this street real quick. <laughs> That's an arch, huh? That's just a cute little <laughs> basic arch. Huh. Amazing, I wonder what the little square looks like. Man, why doesn't, I guess it's the keyway that keeps it from falling, huh? All right, lady, move it out. He's parking, so okay. And look at the ground. You know, I bet when they laid all this stone, it was probably flat and level at the time and then over time things just shift and change and I like those windows up there those are amazing wow pretty oh, there's our balcony oh. wow. Piazza Gattia Kati, 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 I don't know. That's beautiful too. Huh. Hi, puppy. That's a pretty street, too. Well, we'll keep heading up. Train leaves at like 3.30 or 4. Wow, that one's beautiful too. Let's go that way. We're up. I like those colors. 
call it. It looks like a government building now. Yeah, that looks pretty government-y. That looks like a gym or a school or something. I'm gonna go left. Well, everybody, I think that's pretty much it for... <laughs> Vitterball. <laughs> you know, I, I was going to start sounding it out, but I thought I'll just be quiet until I find the name. Well, <laughs> that's how long it took me. <laughs> oh, that's right. So that's where they have the places for rent or sale. So this must be the main entrance. Back to where I started. Oop. You don't need to see any more of this. Thanks for coming, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.